Welcome to a Radical Guide's Resistance in Focus, where we highlight pivotal moments in the history of resistance against oppression. I'm Jason Bayless, and today we're exploring the Calton Weaver's strike of 1787. In the late 18th century, Glasgow was a bustling center of the textile industry. The weavers of Calton, a suburb of Glasgow, were among the many skilled artisans whose labor powered this industry. However, their lives were marked by harsh working conditions and meager wages. In 1787, the Calton weavers decided to take a stand against wage cuts imposed by the manufacturers. This decision led to one of Scottish history's first recorded industrial strikes. The weavers demanded fair wages and better working conditions, but their peaceful protests were met with violence. On September 3, 1787, the tension between the weavers and the authorities escalated. The British military was called in and they opened fire on the striking workers. Six weavers were killed and many others were injured. This brutal crackdown highlighted the lengths to which those in power would go to suppress workers' rights. Despite the tragic outcome, the Calton Weaver strike of 1787 left a lasting legacy. It inspired future generations of workers to organize and fight for their rights. The Calton Burial Ground. In the Abercrombie Street Cemetery in Glasgow serves as the final resting place for many of these courageous weavers. Visiting this site provides a solemn reminder of their sacrifices and the ongoing struggle for labor rights. The burial ground includes several memorial plaques and gravestones commemorating their struggle and sacrifice. One notable plaque reads, The Calton Weaver, I am a weaver, a Calton Weaver, I am a brash and roving blade, I have silver in my pouches, and I follow a roving trade. Another significant stone reads, This is the property of the weaving body under the charge of the five Calton districts erected by them to the memory of John Page, Alexander Miller, and James Ainsley, who at a meeting of that body for resisting a reduction of their wages were upon the 2nd of September, 1787, martyred by the military under the order of the civic authorities of Glasgow, firing upon the multitude also to the memory of their brethren in trade viz, James Granger, James Gray, Alexander Meggett, Duncan Cherry, James Morton, Thomas Miller, John Jaffray, the first four highly distinguished for zeal on behalf of their trade. Other plaques celebrate the resilience and spirit of labor. For example, one reads, the Lords of Labor. They come, they come in glorious march. You can hear their steam steeds neigh. They dash through skill's triumphal arch or plunge mid the dancing spray. Their pale fires blaze in the mighty forge. Their life pulse throbs in the mill. Their lightnings shiver the gaping gorge and their thunders shake the hill. Ho, oh, these are the titans of toil and trade, the heroes who wield no saber, yet mightier conquest reapeth the blade that is borne by the lords of labor. Another stone warns, so come all ye weavers, ye Calton weavers, weavers, where'er ye be. Beware of whiskey, Nancy whiskey, she'll ruin you like she ruined me. Each bears his arm for the ringing strife that marshals the sons of the soil, and the sweat drops shed in their battle for life are gems in the crown of toil. In 1957, the memorial was rededicated. The two original stones were moved to the southern gate and replaced with two granite slabs. Significant stones in the burial ground include the Weaver's Memorial Stone, which commemorates the Weaver's Strike of 1787. During a demonstration on the 3rd of September, 1787, Soldiers opened fire on the protesters. Three weavers were killed and three mortally wounded. On the 5th of September, 1787, three of the dead weavers were interred in Lair 83. The Lair lay unclaimed until 1825 when a memorial slab was laid over the plot. Despite its tragic end, the Calton Weaver strike of 1787 was a catalyst for future labor movements. It underscored the necessity for organized labor and collective bargaining setting the stage for subsequent workers' rights struggles. This historic site continues to inspire ongoing movements advocating for fair labor practices. To learn more about the Calton Weaver's strike and other significant moments in the history of resistance, visit our website at RadicalGuide.com. There you can find the Calton Burial Ground on our directory map and explore photos and detailed history of this important site. Thank you for joining us on Resistance in Focus. Remember, follow ideas, not people. If you like what we are creating, please consider donating. Your tax-deductible donations help us continue to create radical content and support other radical initiatives. To learn how to support, 
please visit radicalguide.com forward slash donate.